Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am happy to meet you for another video. Today, we are going to talk about Tezos and its token, XTZ. First, I will tell you more about the platform and the token. And after that, we are going to take a look at the recent price trends and try to predict what's next with it. We will use divergences to predict the market a bit. And if you want to learn about divergences and how to trade with them, I created a video specifically for this, where you will be able to know what they are and how you can potentially use them in trading strategies. If you enjoy this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Your support matters a lot. All right, guys, let's get into it. Tezos, which started in 2018, is a special kind of blockchain that can improve and change itself over time without needing major disruptions. This feature allows stability and continuity. Tezos is unique because it lets people who own XTZ tokens suggest and vote on changes to the platform. This makes it very democratic and flexible. It also uses a method called liquid proof of stake to keep things running, which is more energy efficient than older systems like bitcoins. Another cool thing about Tezos is that it can double check the correctness of its smart contracts through a process called formal verification. It's especially useful for things that need to be super secure, like financial contracts, People use XTZ tokens in a few important ways. First, they can stake their tokens by giving them to validators, known as bakers, to help secure the network and earn rewards. Second, XTZ tokens are used to pay transaction fees and to vote on changes to the platform. Okay guys, it's time to dive in the price trends and try to spot interesting movements. We are going to first study a weekly candle chart because this allows us to get a view of the price at scale. I have already traced major resistance lines here in yellow. Here we can spot the previous rally here. Now right away, we see this nice reversal bullish divergence. It tells us that the price will follow a new trend soon toward a price target of about $4. And hey, look! It looks like it even coincides with one of the resistance walls. I think we have a bit of time until that happens. Because as you can see, the time target is for September 2026. But here is the catch. During a rally, what happens is that we have these targets and they are then building on each other's with the momentum that grows. That usually results in a chart that becomes exponential rather than linear. So consider this target as just our baseline. It's hard for me to predict exactly how it will actually end up growing because I will need the data that will come with these surges. Okay, we are here right now. This is what will interest us to explore next. So let's dive in a daily candle chart and zoom in this area. Let's describe what happens here. We can see that the last surge has hit a previous wall at $1.6. That's our yellow line. Then we are looking at a downfall, starting with a series of bearish hidden divergences. Here we have one, and then the price falls even more. Here there is a second one and the price continues to go down. As the price kept going down, it also created a series of bullish divergences. We can see the first one here that is small though, but that announced that the price was going to retrace a bit during the fall. Then we have a much bigger one that is very interesting for us. This one is bigger, longer in time and stronger. This is a bullish reversal type of divergence and it is telling us that we can expect to reach a very minimum price of 90 cents very soon. I am saying this is the minimum expected because I'm thinking the price will actually hit some target in this area next, potentially even going to $1.30. I want to explain this a bit more. 
If we retrace from the last low on the MACD line, and we see when it intersects with the line before the first low, then it gives us an indication about what the price was at this level on the MACD. That was the $1.3 price. Remember though that back then, that price was considered overvalued. Here you go. That's my take on Tezos for now. Please remember guys, we are talking about cryptocurrencies and they are extremely volatile. So you need to be extra cautious and check all of this by yourself. I don't even want you to take what I say as facts. Always do your own research. I can assure you that I can make mistakes as well and trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always have a great risk management plan. Also, you are welcome to comment if you see something I missed. And if you agree or disagree with my predictions, your feedback will always be welcome. Don't hesitate letting me know in the comments if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I will be happy to. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends with me, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.